guys and welcome to the Arcadia Jungle Dawn LED review. So a month ago I set up a bioactive terrarium and when looking around for a light source to help maintain plant life within a terrarium whilst being safe for my crested gecko, I stumbled across this product. I had been suggested a number of other cheap alternatives, however, after doing further research I found that products such as spiral or cord daylight bulbs have a pretty bad reputation for causing photokeratoconjunctivitis, also known as PKC, which is a very nasty eye condition caused by excessive exposure to UV radiation. On top of that, those bulbs tend to produce a lot more heat than the Jungle Dawn, and when using a light for a crested gecko, you don't really want to raise the temperature too much, since the geckos prefer to be in temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The Jungle Dawn has this vent at the end of the light, which allows the LEDs to keep cool, because if they overheat, they will die. So not only does the system help the lights last longer, but it also allows my crested gecko to keep cool. This is an E27 screw fit bulb, meaning it can be fitted in a range of light canopies and many standard lamps like this one. However, I decided to use the Arcadia ceramic lamp holder bracket, which can be mounted in a range of positions and I'll show you where I've put mine a little bit later on. As you can see, this is certainly a nice bright light. However, my first concern was, will this hurt my gecko's eyes and will it disturb her during the day? but I'm happy to say that she doesn't seem too bothered by it. In the daytime, you can usually find her in the Gasminia bromeliad, but occasionally you'll find her behind some driftwood or even hanging upside down in her coconut. The good thing about the light output is it's not tinted, so it appears very white, which is visually very pleasing. Um, it uses all 6,500 Kelvin, which is full spectrum. Now, word of warning people, when you first turn this on, don't accidentally stare straight at it because I was nearly blinded. The other thing I really like about this light is you can actually rotate it without moving the bracket or the canopy as it can rotate by 300 degrees. So now let's look at how it's worked on my bioactive terrarium. As you can see, in a month, it doesn't look like much has changed. However, if you look a little bit closer, you'll notice a few little changes. So the Gasmania bromeliad was mature when I first put it in the terrarium, and now it is slowly dying off, but there is a good reason for that. All of its energy and resources are currently going towards growing two pups, which are doing fantastic. When I first put this plant in the tank, the pup looked like this, and as you can see, it has grown a fair bit. Not only this, but another pup has also sprung up, which is awesome. So once these are big enough, I can propagate them and I'll have two new bromeliads. I planted a wandering dew plant a week into having the natural terrarium and it has done fantastic and seems to be growing towards the light. The air plants haven't grown too much. However, air plants are known to be slow growers, so we can't really blame the light for this one. The fern has probably grown the most and even now we can see new growth occurring all over the plant. The earth star has yet to turn red, but I have noticed it has grown and raised up a bit compared to when I first planted it, so I'm sure it's only a matter of time before it starts to change colour. As you can see, if we look above the terrarium, this is how I've positioned my light. Overall, I am really happy with this light, it doesn't disturb my gecko, it doesn't raise the temperature, and my plants are thriving. I hope this video has helped, and thank you very much for watching.